Hey there, kids. Brother Billy here. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're enjoying your week. It's almost time for school to get started, so I hope you guys are enjoying your last bit of summer before that fun begins. And speaking of school getting started, I want to let you guys know that this Sunday night at 6 o'clock, uh, we will be up at Mount Hope School doing a prayer walk. Uh, we're going to be praying for the school. We're going to be praying for the teachers. We're going to be praying for uh, the students and the facilities. And uh, this is going to be a great time for us to come together and pray for a wonderful, awesome school year and for God to really move in our school uh, coming up. Uh, so if you guys want to join us, uh, you can either meet us at Mount Hope School at 6 o'clock this Sunday night or uh, you can meet us up here in our block building uh, that's on the, the back half of our campus up here at the church. Uh, we're going to meet here about 5.15 and do some, um, uh, some basic instructions and a little early time in prayer before we go out to walk to school. And also be introducing our new children's area, which we're very excited about. You may notice my friend over here, Ramsey. Uh, he and his buddies are going to be all throughout our building over here. And uh, we got some great things coming and we're really excited about this space that's going to be used uh, for our kids area. So we hope that you guys can come and join us Sunday night as we uh, pray for Mount Hope School. And that'll be going on in a lot of different schools uh, going up into the school year. Now, I don't know about you guys. I'm getting a little hungry over here. Uh, you ever get hungry? I know I do, especially if it happens to be time for breakfast or for lunch or dinner or really any time. I mean, it's, it's great to have a, an afternoon snack sometimes. Well, I have a little something here in this bag. It is my little bag of Lay's potato chips. Now, if you guys were here, I would be happy uh, to share it with all of you. I'm just not sure if this would be enough for everyone. Let's see here. One ounce of potato chips. Well, that's not a whole lot to go around, is it? I'd have to put, uh, split those up into small pieces and you know, maybe if I had more, maybe we could enjoy a snack if we were all here together. And you know, food is actually a pretty remarkable thing when you think about it. When we eat food, our body uh, breaks down what we put into it and it turns those little munched bits into things that can be used for strength and for energy. And we don't really have to think about it. We just eat something and hopefully something healthy and our body does the rest of the work. You know, in some ways, our relationship with God is very similar to that. We give to him whatever we might have, and he can put it to work to do amazing things. And that is what happened in our gospel story today, and it has to do with one of my favorite topics, and that is food. So let's turn over to Matthew chapter 14, and we're going to read together verses 13 through 21. It says, when Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place. And hearing of this, the crowds followed him on foot from the towns. And when Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. So we'll kind of stop here for a moment. So, so something has happened. Jesus has decided to go away privately for a little while, and he gets on a boat and he goes off. But the crowds, they decide to follow him. And, and when Jesus goes and he gets off the boat, here he sees the large crowd waiting for them. And he says he has compassion on them. And he goes and begins to heal them. Now, picking back up in our, our gospel story, it says, As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place, and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. And Jesus replied, They do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. We only have here five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Well, bring them to me, he said. And he directed the people to sit down on the grass. And taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. And the number of those who ate was about 5,000 men besides women and children. And this right here, wow, this is such an amazing miracle. In fact, this miracle is the only one outside of Jesus' resurrection from the dead that is told in all four Gospels. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all record of this amazing setting of Jesus feeding 5,000. So what we see here is Jesus' teaching. 
And there's this big group of people that have come to listen to what he had to say. And here it was, it was getting on about dinner time, and they weren't near any kind of city, and there was no Walmarts around, and there's no McDonald's to run to. And the disciples, they bring it to attention that the crowds might be getting hungry. And Jesus told his disciples to go find something for the people to eat. Now, that seems a little crazy, right? I mean, there are more than 5,000 people present. In fact, it says there were 5,000 men plus women and children. Now, traditionally, they were counting the men because those would be representatives of households. More than likely, if you include the women and children, there was probably 20,000 people that were there. And to give everyone even a tiny bite of food would cost more than any of them had. In fact, all the disciples could find was one boy who happened to have a lunch with him. And inside of that lunch was only five loaves of bread, so probably five small loaves of bread and two fish. And the disciples, they brought this kid to Jesus and he handed over his lunch. He willingly gave up his lunch to give to Jesus. And then something amazing happened. Jesus prays over it and had people start passing the food around. And somehow that one little lunch didn't run out. In fact, it fed everyone in the crowd. So as many as up to 20,000 people. And then there were 12 basketfuls of food left over. How did Jesus do such a spectacular miracle? Well, we know that Jesus could have done anything. So for us, it shouldn't be too surprising. But he didn't have to use that little lunch. He was God. He could have produced food out of a couple of rocks if he wanted to. But yet he took what someone had, and out of compassion for the people, he used it to feed the multitude. All the boy had to do was to be willing to be used. And we can allow God to use our lives too. We trust him to provide for us, and we trust him to use whatever we give him. Now, we might not think that we have a lot of talent or ability or potential, but God sure does. And he will take care of our needs, and he will use us in ways that we can't even imagine. And we bring ourselves, and he makes a new and wonderful creation out of our sinful lives. And what an amazing miracle that is. So let's take a moment, and let's say a prayer of thanks to God, and ask him to use us. So you guys repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for using whatever we have for your will. Please help us to trust in you and let our lives be used for your glory. We know you will always provide and make great things out of small things. Thank you for your miracles. Thank you for your love. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I'm so glad you guys joined us today. I hope you guys will come up Sunday night as we come together to pray for Mount Hope School. Again, that'll be at the school at 6 o'clock, or you can meet us here at the church at 515. Uh, just a reminder, uh, we have pushed Vacation Bible School back. Again, we don't know when the exact date that we're going to get together is, but we are working to come up with a schedule uh, so that we can all still come together and celebrate that time. All right, guys, that's everything I got for you today. Uh, we love you, and we look forward to seeing you guys soon. God bless.